We recently visited Ferro Asosa Primary School to speak with one of its star students, Helen Tekelin. With her impressive command of English and excellence in STEM, Helen is a shining example of what students can achieve at Ferro schools, and in particular, how Ferro Sosa Primary School creates the right environment for them to blossom. Helen is in grade six and recently won the 2023 Technology and Innovation Competition of the Beni Shangul Gumo's region. With another student from grade seven, Helen developed the school's website for which they came first in the region. In this video, we hear from Helen about her work ethic, her methods for staying focused and how the school has supported her. It's like an addiction for me. I've developed this when I was younger, like when I was in grade one. I don't really play outside with the other students or other kids, so I only focus on my studies most of the time. So like, I just remove the things that will distract me, like uh, different electronics things, or maybe my parents even. I just go to my room and close the door, and I want to focus on my studies, and I'll talk with myself. Like when the teachers teach us in the classroom, and I'll repeat that in our uh, house. Like I will stand up and talk how the teacher was talking in the classroom. So that's how I really uh, stay organized and focused on my studies. I think of STEAM, as I said that, STEAM is really important, STEAM is really important for our school, not only for our school, even for the whole world, because um, in our school we are trying to develop the STEAM one just to make sure that students will stay focused on the science, technology, engineering and mathematics, so that will help them to get in, in their goals, that those topics are really important for them, so uh, our school is also trying uh, it's based to make the students or to encourage them to do different creativities and activities for the school and for the whole world. So. The school is helping us like by uh, buying like some materials the students need. For example, if one student has an idea of to create something, then it will go to Mr. Shea, who is the coordinator of our STEAM club, and he'll tell him that I want to create this one and I need those materials. And Mr. Shea will uh, understand and listen to his uh, techniques and if he thinks that those techniques are really important, then he will try to buy the materials that he needed. And also, teachers will inspire the students to create another creativity uh, besides buying another material. So those two main things are uh, what our school is doing right now. Last year, we had a competition which is conducted by the Regional uh, Science and Technology Office and I won the first place by creating a Scratch programming language and uh, also besides winning the uh, Regional uh, Science and Technology competition, we had science exhibition in our school which will compete students' creativities. So uh, first we uh, had a competition in our school and next we went to the Science and Technology Regional competition. So that's how we won. As you have heard from Mr. Tesfaye and other teachers, we are creating, especially I'm creating a website which just uh, revolves around our school. So this website mainly talks about our school, uh, when, it's, uh, when it's open, what, how many students there are found in our schools, and also what things or what uh, services our school gives. So it just, and a good giving information for parents or even also for other people who wants to attend Faro Primary and Secondary School. So, and also it's, uh, my website and our website is trying to help the, 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 the society to attend and to know more about our school. So that's how it's helping. First, I created that creativity or that programming language, the software that I created last year is because um, first, I started to realize that the students and kids are most of the time spending their times on like uh, games, playing games or watching movies. So I thought that why don't we make games instead of watching or playing games? And I talked to Mr. Dejani, who is the IT uh, member, the, who is the IT teacher of our school, and he said that oh, that's really a good idea, and I can help you to create this software because I think that your idea is really important, and also it may help different kids around the world or maybe around our regions, of course. And I said okay, let's let's help each other, and I started to take tutorials from him last year, and that's how I created this website. 
for the strategy that how I develop it, reading or using different references, uh, reference books is like uh, just by attending. Most of the time, I spend my time on the library, on the, on the school's library, and I start to notice different new books, and I want to read those new books because I found that, oh my goodness, I have seen those books. I have never seen these books before. Let me try them. And I'll start reading them, and then again, after one year, I mean, after one month or some days, I'll, there will be also another book. And then I'll start to read that one. So that's just how I'm doing really great. I told myself that I need, I always need to be the first. I always need to be like, always remember my goal, what I want to be when I grown up and always make my parents proud of me. So I always tell myself every year, when the new year comes, I always tell myself this one. And I say to myself, I'm not going to stop reading. I need to be focused every time. Don't make yourself to be distracted by other things. So I always tell myself this one. Yeah. We are sure Helen and her classmates will go on to achieve great things and look forward to sharing more about their successes with you. Follow our social accounts for further updates on our star students in Asosa and at Pharaoh's other schools across the Horn of Africa.